Within the hour, JSO released some new video of the man that they say shot a woman and left her for dead. That man was breaking into a vehicle near the woman's Riverside home. The reward for information on this murder is up to $9,000 at this point. Police just released this surveillance video of the man that they say they're looking for. You can see him walking down the street. This is right before the shooting happened. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris is live near the home where that woman was found shot. And Janice, as I understand it, first responders tried to save that woman's life, but she died. They did try to save her life. She was found right down this street in this neighborhood near her home when they rushed her to the hospital, but she died from her injuries. Everyone in this neighborhood I talked to said that she was a kind neighbor who spoke to everyone. A typical neighborhood of people walking their dogs and cutting the grass is the focus of a murder investigation. Benjamin is one of many neighbors that heard gunshots before dawn Tuesday morning. Yeah, I just heard the shoe coming back this way. That's so did you actually hear gunshots? Uh, yes. According to police, a woman called 911 and confronted a person outside breaking into cars. The person shot her and fled. A neighbor who did not want to be identified told me he knew the woman and her husband. They both worked for the military. She my neighbor and I know her husband. And he came across the street and told me they killed I said, no, man, no, they did For what? And what's her personality like? Sweet. Mm -hmm. She always come by. A sweet neighbor whose life was taken away while trying to stop a crime. Police have been walking the community and talking to neighbors to figure out who the shooter may be. Crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says this can be a challenging case. What's difficult about finding that shooter? Outside of independent witnesses, outside of collecting evidence that may have been left at the scene, such as latent prints or an item or something that you can directly link it to someone or even surveillance cameras, it's very difficult. Uh, when you don't have those three things working for you. A crime this community hopes is solved quickly. And just in the last couple of minutes, we now have the surveillance video, which may contribute to finding this person. But coming up tonight at 6, we're going to hear from crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson. Again, he's going to tell us about the one thing you should not do if you're witnessing a crime similar to this one. That's coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live in Riverside, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.